Hi, my name is Sachin Alex and I work with a technical marketing team at VMware. In this video, we will see how you can use the reports feature available in VMware ARIA operations. Customers often have the need for static information being sent directly to their inbox without having to log into the system tools. That's when the reporting feature in ARIA operations comes in handy. Reports can be delivered either as a PDF file or an Excel sheet. Custom cover sheets can be added as per the organization. Reporting helps a lot in small projects that organizations undertake like cleaning up unwanted VMs or data center migration of these VMs. Customers can create their own reports or use the out of the box reports and more that are available through the management packs. When you log into VMware ARIA operations, the reports option is available under the visualize tab. A list of all the reports available, custom as well as out of the box reports are displayed here. You can search reports by typing in their names. Here, in this case, we have searched for all the cost reports that are available. You can perform certain actions on a report, such as running it or scheduling it for some time in the future as well as editing it. When you want to make changes to an existing report, it is best to clone it first and then make changes to it because in case there is an upgrade, we tend to lose the changes made to the default reports. You can view all the generated reports either under this tab or under this column. When running or scheduling a report, you have to select the scope of the report. You can either select a particular VM, a cluster, or the entire vSphere world. Reports can be scheduled to run daily, weekly, or monthly. In addition to being available for downloads within the UI, reports can also be sent via email and uploaded to an SMB share. Now, we shall run and schedule a report in VMware ARIA operations. Keeping track of our costs is essential. Cluster costs are important as they give us details about the major spends in the environment and the exact rates of consuming the CPU and memory. When we type in costs, we see all the reports related to it. Upon running the report, it is necessary to select the scope of the report. We will be running it for a particular vCenter. You will find the report in the Generated Reports tab. I'll be downloading the PDF version of the report. You can see the cluster-wise cost details for the selected vCenter. You can schedule the same report if you want the details more frequently without manually running it each time. Again, you need to select the scope of the report. We will be selecting the same vCenter. We'll run this report every Monday at 8 a.m. and specify the ID which should receive the report. Upon mentioning, you will see that this particular ID will receive the report at 8 a.m. every Monday morning. Please note that advanced topics like creation of custom reports and editing the existing ones will be covered in a separate video. In conclusion, what we've seen in this short video is how reports are a useful feature of VMware ARIA operations and how we run and schedule reports as per convenience.